welcome back to my studio. If you've painted with me before, I'm happy to see you back. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're going to be recreating Morning Joe. I have to tell you, I had so much fun painting this one. I think that you guys are really going to enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay guys, first thing that we're going to do is grab a larger flat brush. So, so something that looks like this. This is a size eight. And we're going to um, make a little brown. If you don't have brown on your palette, um, I don't. I'm using basic colors, black, white, yellow, red, and blue. And I'm using limited supplies, so um, not a lot of brushes for those of you out there who have limited supplies. So in order to make brown, we're going to take some black, some red, and yellow together. And that should give you a nice dark brown. And what we're gonna do is we're going to first draw on our coffee mug and then we'll fill everything in later. And just like the last time, this is pretty loose and we can go back and change things if we need to. So for right now, we're going to start up here around, we need to make an oval around the middle of our canvas or the top of our canvas here. Leave some space up top and the bottom saucer should go right about here. So we can kind of put those points here if we want, and it would look something like this. So this would be the top point, and our bottom saucer should come right about here. So this is going to be the length of it. If you want to put those markers in for yourself, that's fine. If not, do whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but I start out up here, and I make a pretty large oval shape. And then bring the sides down. And I'm not worried about perfection here. A lot of this is going to get covered up when we put in our background. So feel free to go over your lines if you're not, if you're not feeling it. Um, but our cup should come, come down right about here. All right, so our oval is gonna go up here on top. And then the sides of the oval, you're just gonna bring down and inward, down and inward. So it should look something like that. And then your saucer is going to just curve up something like that and go behind the cup. So this is how we're creating the illusion of, the, of depth here. We're gonna go behind the cup and curve downward. So you can follow that all the way over if you need to. Uh, we'll paint over all that, don't worry about it. But this needs to curve downward. So it should look like that, something like that anyway. And then you can mess with it until you're satisfied, but it's just kind of... And then our handle should come close to the top, out, and create, create kind of like a rounded square, I guess, if you will. It should come almost down to the bottom. We'll round that out. And we'll fix all this going forward, so don't worry too much about it. You need your guidelines in there. You want to make sure you're rinsing your brush pretty often um, because acrylic dries pretty fast and you don't want the acrylic to dry on your brushes and ruin your brushes. So with the same brush, 
we're going to start our background here. Now, I personally am using what you've what you've seen in the picture, so it's um, like an orangey reddish kind of color. But feel free to play with yours and and do yours however you'd like. Um, I'm going to block off the the table that it's sitting on. I forgot to do that, so we need to. You can bring that over if you need to. Um, so that will be the, the table there. And we can go back into that brown. And we're just going to place, place some of it here. Now, the way I did mine is more um, loose and I guess more abstract. So I'm not trying to fill in everything at this point. I'm putting some brush strokes here and there very loosely. Now with that color still on my brush, I'm going to go into the yellow and I'm just going to loosely again, put some yellow into the background. So I still have some of that brown, as you can see, I'm picking up on my on my brush, and that's fine. So that's going to give you um, a lot of color variations in your background. In your background. Okay, so with um, color still on your brush again, now just go into your red and we're going to do the same thing starting over here. And we're going to have to go over this a couple times to get the effect that we want probably. But we're just adding some of this in various places, letting it mix together. not putting too much thought into it right now. So I'm going to go back into my yellow, not rinsing my brush, still have some of that red on my brush and just pulling it into these, these areas over here. Okay, right, now I'm going to go back into my brown and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to add some brown layers on top of that. Pulling it over here, doing a little mixing right on the canvas. And I want this side to be darker. Um, Feel free to work it however you'd like. It's your painting. Kind of like the look of that already. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of yellow here and there. And again, that's mixing right on the canvas. So you should be getting an orange color if you're using these colors. If not, you want to use um, colors that are going to blend well together. So I'm going to leave that for now. Give my brush a rinse. And then we're going to come to the table portion of it. Now I did mine a um, 
bluish purple color. And again, you're feel free to change that up however you'd like. Um, to your painting, don't be afraid to work with it and do what you'd like with it. Um, so with my limited palette, if you already have purple on your palette, um, you don't need to do a lot of mixing here. But because I'm working with a limited palette, I'm going to mix some um, red and blue together right beside my blue. And I'm going to create a, a purple. And then I'm going to just brush it in here. We're going to block in most of this. And just like the, the top there, we're going to work pretty loosely. Just fill in all these areas. Keep mixing as you go. Don't worry about getting the same color every time. It doesn't matter. In fact, it's, it's nice to get that color variation in there, which is why a lot of times I just um, use a, a basic palette like this and do my own mixing anyway so I can get those color variations just real loosely now while that's still on my brush I'm just going to go directly into the blue and some of the white spots that I see here on my canvas um, I'm just going to fill in with the blue still really early on so you don't have to mess with it too much right now okay so it should look something like that and now what I've done is I've kind of just emptied what I had on my brush on the side of the on the bottom here of the cup these are going to make some of our shadow areas and we'll have to work on that a little bit too so go ahead and um, rinse your brush and what I've done is created a a very 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 light blue a lot of white and just a little touch of, of blue. So it should be very, very, very light. As you can see, it's really light on my brush. And then I just kind of go through and fill this in. And I know I'm picking up some of that brown and that's perfectly fine.
be finding the handle here with this color. I'm going to go over this a couple times with, with different colors. So. work the thickness to your liking. Really loose. Now the same color we're going to use on the the saucer below. So really loosely again, I think the the key to this painting coming out like if you want it to look something like mine, it won't look exactly like mine. Nobody's will. Even mine won't look exactly like the original. But the key that, to this is to work loosely. And I know for some it's harder than, than it sounds, but when you're able to go in here and just not think too much about it, the edges you kind of want to pay attention to, but everything else, we don't want to think too much about it. Not yet, anyway. We have time for that later. Okay, pay attention to those edges, but other than that, be really loose in here. So once you get it mapped out the way that you like it, now we're going to come back and work on some of the, the details here. So if you haven't rushed your, rinsed your brush in a while, I would suggest doing so. I'm still working with the same larger flat number eight brush and I'm going directly into the blue and going on the side here we still have some of those brown edges just clean the sides up with that blue Get underneath the handle here because that will naturally create a shadow. And under here as well. And just pull it down. And add some of that down here to the bottom. and then kind of just empty my brush in there. It doesn't do much yet, but we'll get there. The good thing is there's all sorts of shapes of mugs out there, so don't worry about it being perfect, guys.
All right, so now into the same light blue color that you that you mixed up earlier, the really light blue. Now we're just going to take a little, little bit of yellow, just a touch, and put that in there. And then we're going to put that into our painting here. It's going to help it not look so one-dimensional here. Just color variations really didn't do much. Add a little more blue and yellow into it. Darken it up a bit. There we go. So now you should have some, like a green color, and we just want to Bring that in. Put some down here in the saucer as well. Just empty your brush out. And make sure you, you're moving in the, the direction and shape of the saucer. Give my brush a rinse again. But using that same color, I'm, now I'm going to create some shadow in the background here. I'm just leaving a little edge on top. The rest of this is should be shadow. And I feel like my rim area is not down far enough far enough, so I'm going to move that. And if you're having the same issue, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So going back into the purplish bluish color you probably have on your um, palette right now, we're just going to pull this down, something like this. And then just go around the background like that. Don't worry, we can fix it all later. So we have a rough outline of our, our painting right now and it's so far looking pretty good. Now I wanna go back in, I'm gonna to touch up the background here and get rid of my, my line. So I'm gonna do that by going into the red And just redefining that background there, pulling some some red strokes down there. And the same thing over here into that brown. Just here and there, don't fill it in unless you want to. And then I'm going into the yellow and I'm doing the same thing with the yellow.
cleaning up our background. I'm going back into the, the brown color that we mixed up, adding some more brown. You see I'm not filling it all the way in. Just roughly and loosely going over the top of that. Making sure if there's any white spots, we cover those up. You can just go back and forth between your colors until you get the desired background that you like there. And I'm satisfied with my background there. So let's work on the table here just by adding a little, a little more color in there very loosely. I'm taking um, the purple and the blue together and a little bit of white to give us a different color here. And just adding that. that into my background here. Not filling in, going with the, the shape of things. Just adding a little bit of that color there. A little bit. Same color, again, we're gonna, I'm bringing my rim of my cup down a little bit further. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna start shading this a bit. Should have your greenish yellow color. Really light green yellow over there. Go ahead and go back over that. Hammer, and then put that kind of blend it there. Putting some in our handle here. And in our saucer. I'm just going to add a little more blue to that, that same greenish yellow mixture that we have there. And it's going to darken it up. And I'm going to kind of try to just blend these shadow areas over here and define our, our the side of our cup over here a little bit. Not too much. That darker area in over here. Very, very loosely. Everything should be very loose. And then I'm touching up the 
inside here. You should see a shadow there. Maybe a little bit up here. And then underneath here. So the cup should be itself should be creating a shadow down on your saucer. All right, now we're gonna go into our white, directly into our white. Don't worry about rinsing off your brush. And then add some highlighted areas into our painting. Here's where we want to pay a little more attention to the edges here. And I'll bring mine around. And then put a little bit in the handle here. And then just kind of empty your brush there. Not too much. I'm going to do the same thing for the plate over here for the saucer. Just add some highlighted areas. Really loosely. Make sure you're going with the shape of the plate. All right, give your brush a rinse. Now we're gonna go into our dark brown color that we made earlier. And we're actually going to make the coffee or the tea in the cup. And we do this by just a kind of rounded, little bit of curved space up here. That will meet our the rim of our cup. So this is where you're gonna have to pay a little more attention there. And there you go. Quite simple. So we're really close to being done. Just going to add a little more shadow in here. You can rinse your brush or not. It's up to you. I just gave mine a little rinse and now I'm going directly into the black. And I'm going to put a dark shadow underneath the cup there. A little bit on the side. And up here, around this side of our coffee and our cup. And I just take my finger and I blend that a little bit. I don't want a hard line. And then underneath our saucer should be creating a shadow, a really dark shadow as well. So I'm going to outline that. It's going to become thinner on that side. This side will we'll make it pretty dark. Something like that. I'm actually picking up some of my pink there.
And there you go. I think I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. So I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Don't forget to get your edges if you're going to hang it. And just give it a sign down here in the corner. Or if you don't want it to be seen, you can paint, sign it on the back as well. Well, that's it. We just finished Morning Joe. Thanks so much for painting with me. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button.